I'm starting a new series here, and today I have a guest, somebody special here, and it's somebody you all might be interested in. He's the creator of NativeScript View, and his name is Igor Rangelovic. He's just a really awesome contributor and a community member. He's not a member of the NativeScript core team, but he created NativeScript View, and it's taken off like wildfire. In fact, here I am back in the recording booth. This is where I'm creating the new NativeScript View course. NativeScript View Pro course and styling NativeScript View course. They're on pre-sale right now on nativescripting.com. We got a lot of interest. I got a beta group of people that are contributing ideas. Thank you guys again for that. And videos for that course are gonna start trickling in soon. I'll keep you updated on this channel on what's happening with that course. So here's a brief interview that I did with Igor is just to introduce you, a community member just like you, who came up to the plate and he created something brand new, something that's really cool, really popular, an integration that allows you to use the Vue.js UI framework with NativeScript. Before that, as you know, NativeScript core existed. So NativeScript core is just the core modules and the core functionality of NativeScript that allows you to use JavaScript and CSS to create native mobile applications. And then the core team created NativeScript with Angular and now we have NativeScript View, and we also have React NativeScript and NativeScript Svelte. Stay tuned for more of those interviews. And if you're not subscribed yet to this channel, normally we do tips, tricks, and tutorials on NativeScript here, but this one is a little different. Here we're doing an interview, and I have to apologize, the quality of the recording is not very good because uh, this is the first time I'm doing an interview like this. I really hope to improve this quality in the next iteration. At one point I have the sun shining behind me and it's just, it looks pretty bad, but at least you can hear the audio and the audio sounds very good. So here we go. Here's me with Igor Rangelovic. Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Alex from Native Scripting and I got Igor here. Igor is the mastermind behind Native Script View. Do you want to introduce yourself real quick? Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm Igor and I, I've built Native Script View and that's that's pretty much who I am. Okay, so what kind of uh, what kind of dev background do you have? Are you have you always worked with JavaScript? No, actually, uh, I have actually uh, I've mostly been doing backend development most of my. Uh, career. It wasn't. I'm. I'm pretty young, so it, it wasn't like a long career so far. Uh, maybe I, I started shifting to JavaScript uh, maybe four or five years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, I was mostly doing uh, Laravel and PHP backend so before that. I'm in the same boat. I've been working on .NET for a long time. So <clears throat> JavaScript is, I guess. In the grand scheme of things, it's relatively new to me. And NativeScript, I've been doing it for about five years now, I guess, since it came out in 2015. But uh, what I never predicted was that it'll be so huge with the uh, Angular community and with the Vue communities. Because NativeScript to me in the beginning was just another framework to do mobile applications. But with the application of Vue and Angular has just become this whole new thing and opened up all these new doors to these developers coming in from those frameworks. So why did you think that this was a good idea uh, to combine Vue and NativeScript? Well, it all began uh, maybe almost three years ago. Uh, I'm a university student and we have terrible uh, like school management websites. Yeah. That's like where, where you get your grades, your schedule and stuff like that. And it's like an awful website that like even on desktop, it's, it's barely usable. And on mobile, it's, it's like a disaster. <laughs> and uh, like I, I used, I was, I didn't like to memorize my classes. So I usually just check before classes. Like I knew I have to go maybe 10 30. But I, I wasn't sure where I had to go, what class or stuff like that. So, um, so I started building like a PWA with Vue.js uh, to, to be able to check my classes and my schedule. And like when I built that, it was like a simple little PWA, but um, I wasn't really happy with the performance. It was still sluggish. Uh, so I, was, I started looking for alternatives like... Uh, I don't know. I, I, I was curious if there's something out there that allows me to use Vue.js uh, and to build like mobile applications. And there was a Weeks, uh, I believe, 
but like there was like barely any English uh, documentation that like I quickly gave up because I just couldn't find the information what I need what how to get started so mm -hmm. um, then I found native script which didn't support Vue but um, I saw it had like a, a vanilla JavaScript TypeScript and Angular and I was pretty curious I just gave it to gave it a try like a, like a quick try. Uh, I don't think I've built anything complex because uh, something sparked in my mind that maybe I could use Vue somehow to 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 make it work, and and that's where my journey began. Um, so so learning native script for me was was but actually by starting to to play around and tinker and trying to implement uh, native script and the Vue integration and and. I didn't really look at the uh, tutorials and maybe some docs, but it was like a really deep dive uh, right from the beginning. So I think maybe uh, around four to five months into into this tinkering, I had something working, uh, which we called like the alpha version, which we released. Well, I say we, it was mostly just me and, mm -hmm. and a few community members just uh, uh, supporting me and helping with questions. Uh, so yeah, it was a it was a journey, um, and ever since then I've been using Native Script View to build uh, client applications and and improve it along the way. Whenever I found found something that wasn't uh, like intuitive to use and and things like that, including that application you initially built to check your schedule. Uh, I've never finished that to be to be fair. <laughs> Got busy with other stuff. Yeah. Uh, so, how's there been the help from uh, from the native script core team as far as helping you out with uh, your questions or helping you out build actual functionality? Have they done any of that? Uh, yeah, um, like especially in the beginning, I I've got so much support when I, I I was looking for ways to to hook into the native script elements and and just make it like make view, render them and uh, things like that. I had like a ton, tons of questions and, and the core team was really uh, keen to, to help and, and answer any questions I had. What about the community support? Have you had a lot of community support besides those initial few folks that uh, helped ask questions? Uh, yeah, the community has been growing ever since. Uh, I'm not saying it's like a huge community. Uh, I think we are still in the early stages of building up this community but so far uh the feedback has been positive and 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 although there are issues like most of the time i, I try my best to to be around help people and i think people appreciate when when they get help really quickly so how about uh your your partner event studio right yes you're yes, doing some uh some work with them as well yeah i i do work with uh and studio and i I usually take on the view projects that come mm -hmm. in and and build applications for clients. So you're actually working with NativeScript View as you're building it out as well. Yes. Uh, so so NativeScript View itself is a side project. So it really helps me to be able to actually use it in my mm -hmm. regular work because that's that's when I notice and find uh, inconvenient APIs and stuff like just minor annoyances that I. I then go back and fix and publish a new release. So it yeah. really just helps me keep going with, with the project itself. Yeah, like um, I know some people are probably going to be wondering what's going on with the router. Um, there's a view router and then the NativeScript has its own native routing capabilities. But what about a NativeScript view router or equivalent? Is something like that on the horizon? Um, there's there are no any plans right now. Um, like with the or original view router, I really tried to to make it work with native script. It just didn't work out in the end. I think I spent way more time than I than, than I care to admit. Uh, I'd say a couple months trying to different approaches and to, to try to make it work with native script. Mm -hmm. uh, the problem. I'm facing mostly with uh, view router is that it's it has a completely different mindset because on web you never have like uh, the idea of a back stack where you can uh, store uh, pages without destroying them and and when you navigate forward like 
all the previews pages are destroyed on the web and in native mobile apps that's not the case you you need to keep them in memory and and go back like be able to go back and mm -hmm. and keep the state and things like that we got it uh, somewhat working but always found edge cases and and things that would break and and just gave up yeah what about any other APIs or libraries that come with Vue.js for the web that uh, you'd wish to implement next in NativeScript Vue? Are there any ones that come to mind? So, so I, I believe many Vue plugins that are not DOM dependent should already work or mm. need like a, like next to no changes to to be able to use in NativeScript. But uh, what I see most people uh, looking for are like uh, UI libraries such as uh, uh, Vueetify and, and things like that. Um, mm -hmm. and there are no plans to bring those in, into native script because they are completely uh, depending on the DOM and, and the web CSS and things like that. Things like that. So, so it, it's not something that that would I, I think never. I I, th I don't think it would ever work with native script. So if somebody wanted to do a Vueify for NativeScript Vue, it would be a separate project that somebody else has to start and just build that out. Yeah, it's a lot of work, but I mean, I had ideas to build like uh, full-blown component libraries uh, for NativeScript Vue, but it's just something I don't really have time for. Right. You have to work on the core. So um, is there anything you want to ask the folks that are watching or maybe watching this should they come out and help you out should they be uh should should they be encouraged to s submit pull requests into the library documentation for example yes indeed uh there are many open issues that that take a lot of time to to read through and 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 give answers and most of them are are not really uh, bugs or stuff it's more most like there are many issues that are just uh, usage questions it's just uh, we don't really have all the time to to go go back and answer everyone. So if somebody from the community is, is familiar familiar with Vue and native script, uh, I'd really encourage them to just go through the issues and and if they can answer the the questions and go ahead and leave comments and and if if there are some uh, bugs, feel free to submit pull requests. Uh, if there's something missing from the docs, uh, we are always looking for pull requests there as well. Uh, one of the big challenges with the docs is that we we have multiple languages and, and keeping them up to date. Uh, like I'm, I'm usually just keeping the English docs up to date because I don't really speak the other languages. Uh, and and it's, I, I think it's a big challenge to keep them in sync and, mm -hmm. and not like there are so many pages in, in other languages that are no longer uh, true or relevant, mm -hmm. but there's just n nobody to, to actually go through them and, and, and uh, bring them up to date with the English version. You mean you didn't hook up Google Translate to automatically translate everything? <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> Well, listen, uh, Igor, thank you so much for hopping on and uh, thanks for sharing with everybody uh, what your plans are and what your thoughts are about NativeScript and your story about it. We hope to see you again and good luck with NativeScript View. Yes, thank you. Thanks for having me and have a wonderful day. All right, dude. Later. Later. Later.